Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm pretty excited to talk about one of the most important things that I pretty much use daily. What I keen on talking about today is the Magic Trackpad, the second generation. Is it worth buying in 2021? Let's find out. Before diving into the details about this trackpad, let's take a look at what's inside the box first. So this is the Magic Trackpad itself, the USB lightning cable, and the manual. They're pretty much it. Now let's put everything aside except the trackpad itself. Well, as mentioned, this is the second generation trackpad built with high quality and performance. This is something everybody should consider having. There are two different colors you can choose from, the silver and the space gray. Well, as you can see, I've got the Magic Trackpad, the second generation in silver color. And the reason for this is because I've got the Magic Keyboard, the iMac and the iMac Stand, and the Magic Mouse 2 are all in silver color. So it's best to get the same color so that it best fit with one another. Looking at the trackpad itself, there's a lightning port where you can charge while you're using it, which you can do so on the Magic Mouse too. But it's good to always check the trackpad before and after use. I don't recommend you charge the trackpad while you're using it. This might damage the built-in battery. Plus, you don't have to worry much about its battery usage because a fully charged trackpad can be used up to one to two months. That's a lot, right? There's a button to switch on and off with a green indicator telling you that the trackpad is on. Just switch it on and it will pair automatically with your Mac so you can start your work right away. It is covered with a glossy plastic surface making it look nice and premium. This trackpad also features an edge-to-edge -edge glass surface area that is nearly 30% larger than the previous trackpad. This design along with a lower profile made scrolling and swiping through your favorite contents more productive and comfortable than ever. This trackpad is weighed about 7.2 ounces and it is integrated with four force touch sensors underneath the trackpad surface which allows you to click anywhere and detect subtle differences in amount of pressure you apply, bringing increased functionality to your fingertips and enabling a deeper connection to your content. When you press it hard, it makes sounds like you're clicking something at first and when you press it harder, you will hear another pressing sound. This is used to check the words, access web preview or other things. For example, without opening the link, I could just force touch the link to get a preview and check if what I'm reading on the preview is the right website I'm looking for. This is very convenient and save lots of time without opening every single link. So, is it worth buying the Magic Trackpad in 2021? Well, it depends on user experience and preference. Something that having the Magic Mouse is more than enough. But if you ask me, for sure you know the answers, right? That is the reason why I make this video. Because, for sure, I still highly recommend everybody to get one or to consider having one as well. Okay, now let's talk about its versatility. I believe that the reason why this trackpad is named Magic is because it has magic. So when you go to system preferences and go to trackpad, you see look up and data detectors with three fingers. So look at the video demonstration, you can see just tap with the three fingers, you get to uh, get like a preview of the data. Let me just show you an example of these textbooks. So I just tap on the book and three fingers just preview very quickly. The next one is the secondary click. So you use the two fingers to tap or click on the trackpad. It means right click. You see that? Two finger tap to click. Yeah, so just tap one finger to select anything that you want. When you go to scroll and zoom, there are more features. As you can see, use your two fingers to scroll up and down when you preview any uh, content on the web page. Zoom in or zoom out. And the next one is the smart zoom. As you can see, just double tap with the two fingers. Yeah, it just zoom for you automatically. This is another special feature, which is rotate with two fingers. It's amazing. Let me just open one image for you. So, for example, if I took this image, but the thing is that because I took it very quickly, so the image would be like this. 
So in order to rotate, as shown in this preview, as you can see that, use your two finger and rotate it like magic. It's very easy and you cannot do this on the magic mouse too. Next is more gestures. This is what I love the most about the magic trackpad, which you can do on a magic mouse too. Yeah, you swipe between pages to the left or to the right with two fingers. This is when you are on the internet browsers. So when you want to go back or go forward, you can do this with the two fingers. Let me just open Apple. Now I select maybe this new iPhone, the iPhone 12 with the new color. Scroll down. And when I want to go back, I just use my two fingers to swipe to the right. See that? It's just back to the previous page. If I do it one more, just go back to where it was started. That's pretty amazing, right? Without using this this one, this icon, yeah, next page or show the previous page, you don't have to go through over here. All you need to do is to use your two fingers. That's amazing. The next one is to swipe between the full screen apps. Yeah, this is to swipe between the desktop. So you can see that. So I've got three different desktop now. This is desktop 1, desktop 2, and desktop 3. And I can create more than that if I want to work on different projects. Notification center. That's amazing. Swipe left from the right edge with two fingers. Okay, you see that? It's very handy, right? Mission control. Swipe with the four fingers. Yeah, four fingers. So swipe up like this. I can see three different desktop right now. Next is to swipe down with four fingers. Very handy. For example, this is swipe down with four fingers and then I can access um, different uh, projects I have for the Final Cut Pro. Instead of going to uh, file, open library and stuff, it takes time. I just swipe down with the four fingers and I can open my project right from here. Launchpad, pinch with a thumb and three fingers. So you still need to use four fingers. I don't use a thumb. I use four fingers to swipe or to pinch in, sorry. Pinch in and pinch out, right? So I got to access the launch pad. Show desktop. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Spread with thumb and three fingers. Spread. Show desktop. For example, if I've got so many things over here. So what if I want to open one folder which is on the desktop? What I do is to spread like this. And then now I can just open the folder on the desktop. One more hidden feature about the trackpad is not here. This is something that enable you to use the three fingers drag whatever you want like this. You can drag image video on the desktop. You can move any files from one place to another with just your three fingers. Just tap the trackpad with the three fingers and grab it like this. You don't have to press, I mean to force touch and then use another finger to uh, move it around. So in order to enable this hidden feature, all you need to do is to go to accessibility. And then scroll all the way down to uh, pointer control. And then trackpad options. And over here, enable dragging. Make sure you choose three finger drag. And then press OK. As you can see, I can drag with my three fingers. So this is hidden feature. And you can also uh, get it on your MacBook Pro. As you can see, this trackpad is capable of so many things. It just makes your workflow much simpler and quicker. This magic trackpad has become one of the most important things I use every day. I use it mainly for video editing on the Final Cut Pro because it is way more convenient than using the magic mouse. I love the magic mouse but it would slow down my editing process. Let me show you an example. As you can see over here, so with the magic trackpad I can just use my two fingers to spread it in order to extend what is on my timeline. 
so that I can easily cut out any part that I don't want. But you can do that on the magic mouse. What you have to do is to go to over here and then increase with this bar, which is quite time consuming. But with the magic trackpad, you can just do it right on the trackpad. It just make editing on the Final Cut Pro even quicker. Well, now it comes to the price. How much is this trackpad? Well, it's about $110 for the silver color and $140 something for the space gray. They both are exactly the same, just different in color. Would you invest on this trackpad in 2021? Or are you waiting for the new trackpad lineup with seven different colors announced on the Apple Spring event? Let me tell you what, it doesn't make any differences. If you plan to get one, just get one. Check the link below for more information about this trackpad. Okay guys, now it comes to an end of this review. Let me know what you guys think. If you have used it before or you're using it right now, let me know what's your experience with this one. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment down below. And don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video if you think this is useful. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next videos. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.